All right, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. I really wanted to address my comment section and some few stuff that I saw um, floating around just to make sure it is clear. Because yes, we have a light cone banner here and probably potentially the best light cone banner in a little bit. Uh, this one is kind of crazy. But again, there is one thing that I want to talk about to make it clear. Like and subscribe helps out a ton. Let's jump into it and let's break it down together. So first thing, we have Blaze light cone over here, which first off is a very strong light cone. It is. We also have the light cone banner and looking at it at first glance, you're like, damn, that's a pretty good light cone banner. And the thing that has been pushed around and people have been talking about are like, hey, maybe this is a must pull light cone banner because it is a very stacked and a very strong banner. The thing that I wanted to mention and make sure it's very clear, again, at the end of the day, the rates on light cones may not be the best. It's like an endless uh, dump of money where you may keep going and might break the bank in order to get the character uh, light cone you're looking for, which I always recommend the best idea to approach light cone banners are just if you don't have the currency, you'd rather get a character, just get the character. At a free-to-play level, investing in Lycone Banner is not the best idea, but yes, the value in this banner is there. It is true. So if it is that you want to invest for a character like Blade, you love him that much, or you love other characters that you really want to get these light cones for, it's up to you. It is a good banner. Simple as that. That is true. But you have Kafka. You do have Blade here. You do have other characters in the future that you may want to pull for. Maybe getting, you know, a light cone right now isn't the greatest idea. But if you want to build your character, let me tell you now, you are getting like every multi you put in this banner here is kind of a win. First up, you have a Secret Vow, which I would say is the second best light cone for um, Blade minus his signature one because holy hell, this is great. Increases the damage dealt by the wearer by again, a certain percentage. Let's say it's superimposed, 40%. The wearer also deals an extra 40% of damage to enemies with a higher HP percentage than the wearer, which most of the time you're proccing an 80% buff, which that's nice. That is, that is very, very nice, okay? For what it is, for a four-star light cone, you can argue this is better than the signature uh, when it is superimposed and whatever. If you were to look at the signature the one, I, you know, I wanna, I wanna say this clearly, yes, it is very strong. That That is true, right? We're going to look at destruction over here. Um, it's right here. The unreachable side, right? This is a very, very solid light cone. And for what it is for Blade, it's powerful. Increases the wearer's crit rate by 18% and increases their max HP by 18%. Remember, he scales off max HP. So that's pretty good already. When the wearer is attacked um, or consumes their own HP, which is done constantly, their damage increases by 24%. The effect is removed after the wearer uses an attack, which... I mean, it's a pretty damn good light cone. But again, trying to break the bank to get this is not the best idea when you do have a very strong alternative over here for a secret vow, a four star light cone that kind of gives pretty similar effects here. And I think that after a lot of testing, we could find that at superimposed five, it could be better. So if you do have the dupes, you do have the, you know, um, light cone built, it could be pretty good. So that's first thing to mention. And yes, again, in the same tangent of mentioning that, you kind of understood that what his light cone is, it is very powerful. So for Blade, for what it is, you're going to be getting a lot more damage. You're going to be getting a stronger character. But again, it's not a must, I would say. I still think that every character we've had released, they have very strong four-star alternatives that can also work on their kit and kind of give, maybe not like the same effect, but something in a close range, correct? That is the one thing that's always worth mentioning. But again, that's just how it looks for Blade when it comes to that, right? But the rest of the banner, next up you have Shared Feeling. For an Abundance Light Cone, it's actually pretty strong. Increases the wearer's outgoing healing by a certain percentage. Let's say it is superimposed. 20% when using a skill regenerates four energy for all allies. It's pretty strong. Let's say it's not superimposed, 10 and two, which is still pretty strong. So for what it is, an Abundance Light Cone, you are picking up some value over here by summoning on this banner. Then you look at the last one. This is a Hunt Light Cone, which again, probably one of the very strong ones, one of my favorite ones, Swordplay. For each time the wearer hits the same target, damage dealt increases by a certain percentage. Let's just say the superimposed one, which is 16%, stacking up to five times, this effect will be dispelled when the wearer changes targets. So again, on some more AOE stuff, this thing might fumble a little bit, but if you are attacking in a proper manner and doing everything, you can kind of proc this five times stack pretty fast, okay? So it is kind of worth it. It is fully up to you. Um, some of these are very kind of, universal if you will um they're not more restrictive as some may be um in a capacity uh like related to any other um light cones here so i just want to mention that that again they're more universal light cones so you can throw them on characters um that you may want to use and then also they are like 
kind of top tier ones. If there was like a light going through your list, you see these ones up there because they are very powerful and they are very strong. And again, if you're building some sort of Bleeds team, I mean, if you're trying to invest into what it is um, as the uh, a secret vow, right? That's going to be very good for him. But again, you want to save gems. You know, somebody for the five stars, the main thing people are doing, which is true. I do think that if a secret vow is what you can obtain free to play, which you can, I would just go for that. I think that definitely that is a very strong light cone. And again, as always, for a free-to-play player, investing into a light cone banner is never the smartest idea, correct? Because it's always said to be the truth. A character is always better than a light cone. Yes, there may be some universal light cones that can work for the future. That is true. Um, maybe Blades is that one. Maybe it isn't. I do think when we have a future character, a character that follows the same idea as Blades Kit, maybe that light cone is better. We can't tell anything right now because we don't know. So again, at the end of the day, that's also worth mentioning. Yes, there are some light cones that have released that are universal that just work for that class unequivocally. But at the end of the day, each one is designed for the character more so. Again, we don't know how it does progress as more characters release what happens to their light cone. But I do think as always, it's not the best idea to invest. It isn't, correct? Because you want to get a character, you want to be able to focus on that. And for free to plays, investing into this banner is definitely not a must pull, okay? I do see people saying why it's a must pull. If you're a dolphin, you're a whale, and you really like these uh, light cones, maybe then it's a must pull in that capacity only. But again, definitely at a free to play stature. Um, trying to pull for the character initially is the better option. Um, let's say you pull them right away for a multi and you want to splurge a little more because you want to bu uh, build your blade to max capacity and you want that light cone. You're more than welcome to. It's not a bad thing. You're not ruining your account per se. Definitely, if anything, you're going to help your account with how powerful the banner is. But it's a, always to be mentioned, it's not a must pull. So don't run into this being like it's a must pull. Again, as everything, no light cone banner really is a must pull just because it's hard to get those things right i've dive dived into light cone banners on a, or weapon banners on genshin i have failed miserably though again i'm not comparing the games but i've never done it over here on honkai because i know i'm going to feel the same way it, it's happened to me correct um so at the end of the day that is worth mentioning um that is something that i do want you to at least be aware of that yes he is powerful he has his free to play alternative so you do not have to rush to get this one you can always stick up with what it is as a secret vow but yes if you are investing in this banner you are getting some very powerful light cones and superimposing them are very going to, are going to be very good for your account so it's always again worth mentioning that yes the value is there that is there but as always getting a character may be the better idea so with it that means uh basically that's all i got for you here today hope you guys all have a wonderful time pulling for blade hope you guys all pop off best of luck to everybody the banner should release in like 20 hours ish before i uh drop this video so Hopefully, I timed that correctly. If not, just search up a countdown. You'll be good to go. It's like tomorrow at like 7 p.m. ET or EST um, around there. So, again, best of luck to everybody. Hope you guys all pop off. Thanks for watching. Just a quick little video here to make sure you are aware um, about everything. And, again, I haven't made a video like this in a while uh, since the beginning of the game. Because, again, it's just more so that this banner is very spicy. So, people have been saying, like, maybe it is a must pull. But, free-to-play-wise, you don't need to do it. So, don't rush in. All right? Have fun. And if you are doing it, it won't ruin your account by any means. It's going to help you out. It is pretty good. But, again, it's up to you. So, yeah.